yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yo, what's going on, Davis the Camera Guy, J Miles Inc. Back again with another tutorial video. Glad to see everybody's doing well. Hope you guys are good. So today we're gonna be checking out an uh, all-in-one plugin that came out uh, a little while ago. But it's definitely dope. It's definitely changing the game. And for someone that's looking for an all-in-one place to do some color grading, some effects, this this plugin basically has everything. So let's just go to Google Chrome right quick to check it out. And I'm talking about M Film Look from Motion VFX. Now, Motion VFX didn't sponsor me this video. I found out about this product from their newsletter, and I went and check, checked it out, and I bought it. And so this is gonna run you into about a hundred bucks but it's well worth the buy, in my opinion. Um, there's also a 5% discount going on, so if you wanna take advantage of that, I suggest you do. So let's go from here, let's hop into Final Cut. And I already have a video up and ready to go. This was from last year's uh, Boxing Day Parade here in the Bahamas in Chunkadoo. And I have some footage, some SLG2 footage that I never really got to touch. So we're gonna color grade this and see how it comes out. So what we're gonna do first is go to titles. You're gonna put an adjustment layer over the shot. And then we are going to our effects tab and M film look, double tab that there. And as you can see, as soon as you put the plugin on, you have an on-screen menu that comes out in a way, and this is movable. You can put it to the right, to the left. Uh, let's put it to the right for right now. So M Film Look, let's go over this quick. They have presets straight out the gate, so if you don't know anything about uh, going in depth into color grading and all of that, you can just use these presets. Uh, you can convert your, your, your color space to one of these but I'm pretty satisfied with what we're working with. So let's go from there. You can do your white balance and these are all on screen controls, on screen controlled. So once I click white balance here, I can click it on, it'll give me the white balance and I can click anywhere on the screen and go for that. So the white balance on the white, it's going a little tintish into the blues uh, and I can cut that off and it goes back to normal levels you got your basic levels so this controls your exposure oh wait you turn it on going to turn it on you can control your controls and here here's the catch up about this you have on screen control so i can control the amount of whites the amount of blacks and the amount of gamma i want to let in for this shot and these are all on screen controls. So you can go from the right tab or you can do it from on screen. So let's just take that off for right now. Uh, you have your basic adjustments, your color temperatures. Um, so you can make it warmer, your vibrant, saturation, and your sharpness. I don't really add extra sharpness into videos because it kind of looks kind of tacky. Um, going next on the line, you have your off-screen flares. So if you want to add a flare into your shot, this is available. You can click on the flare and you can move it around to any point uh, in the video. You know, just to give you a little bit of extra spice in your shot. And they also have presets for these flares. So you can change around whatever flare you want to whatever type of look you're looking for. Um, let's take that off. Here we have our LUT and they have presets for you to get into the LUTs. They have a bunch of ready made, ready to go presets. But I create my own LUT so I wouldn't be using these. And as you can see, I already have my Mood Pack 1.0, 2.0, and the Camera Guy LUT Pack already added into this set. And if you want to pick up these LUTs, you can go on my site, jamesing.com, hit the store button on the site, and you will be taken to my Selfie store where you can purchase all of my digital products. So don't forget to check that out. 
link is going to be in the card above moving on um for this we're just gonna i like smooth tone for this shot yeah this this looks really nice to me so we're gonna leave that lot on and i can change the intensity on screen that's that uh built-in on screen controls that i was talking about you have our aberrations this is going to give you a little bit of rgb blurriness around your shot um i like it for certain shots not for every shot but this shot we probably we just leave it on because it's it's just there right now distortion you can give your shot a sucked in effect or blown out effect you know like gopros do but we're not going to use that for this so cut that off lens blur if you're using a lens that it doesn't give you a shallow depth of field this is where i would use this to add a lens blur on my subject just to give it a little more depth put the range down make sure that and then increase the intensity so if i play this back it gives it a more dramatic look on him that's a mistake let's drag this back over and just take that off right now um your green you can add your film green into your shot I uh, yeah there's there's um the intensity where you can have the on time control the size the color noise and all of that but i get to put that in the shot you have your vignette and everybody know what vignette is i actually hate vignette and that a box one of the most highly requested tools that everybody wants to use for their shots this gives you a more cinematic look with these two uh, cropped boxes normally you will have to use a separate plugin or you would have to make these yourself in photoshop apply it to the clip or you would have to crop your image and do this all yourself but the mfil look plugin makes this easy and you have a list of um different lengths that you could choose from so i think i'll go with pano super pano vision 70 and I'm able to just drag from wherever it is. Let's say right about there. That's my letterbox and that's about it for the plugins that come along with it. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more um, adjustments with my levels. So I wanna give a little bit more white but then those whites add some more exposure uh, contrast you take the contrast out a bit bring out these blacks a little bit so you can see his face little micro adjustments just until I'm comfortable with it and yeah and then we're gonna just with uh, basic adjustment, put in a little bit more vibrant, give it a little more. Oh, right there is good. Um, vibrance is good. Now, I don't really like the color temperature tab on this. So, what I would do is I would go into Final Cuts Color Correction and then adjust the warmness of the shot. Give it a more look, and when you play it back, that's how the shot looks. So if I take the adjustment layer off, that's normal shot. Normal shot. Normal shot. Big difference, and I did all of this in one plugin. $99 is gonna get you an all-in-one plugin where you can create a cinematic video. There's literally no other plugin like this on the market. I think that you should go pick it up if you're interested. Um, if this is your first time watching my tutorial videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And what I want you guys to do is leave a comment below. So I'm gonna feature you in my next video and give you guys a shout out for being a part of this community. 
So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below so I can shout you out in my next video, and we're going to go from there. I'm Davis the Camera Guy, Jamie Miles Inc., and I will see you guys in the next one.